How's it going you guys? So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the pros and the cons of motherfucking NoFap, alright? So listen to me, and listen to me very, very closely. NoFap can definitely change your life, okay? And let me tell you why, okay? First of all, I am very pro-sex, okay? I, I think freedom of sexual expression is absolutely necessary for human health for happiness and for the survival of the human race. In fact, um, whether you want to hear it or not, the only objective uh, purpose we have in this life is to procreate. So I'm definitely not like some kind of like sex shaming lunatic, okay? And I'm not religious, but pornography is absolutely the worst thing that you can spend your time on, all right? Uh, it has been scientifically proven that pornography acts on the brain the same way that hard drugs do, and alcohol as well. It has been proven. And if I had some software where I could speak and talk while I show my computer screen at the same time, I'd be showing you guys all the studies. But until I get that, I'm not going to like waste my time like linking studies and shit because you can actually just look them up your fucking self. And uh, I'd rather just get the information out there for people who really want to help themselves, all right? So yes, pornography is absolutely horrible for, for your brain. It's horrible for your relationships. It's horrible for your success, your motivation, your drive, your social life, and your sex life, okay? Um, I've seen it ruin marriages. I've seen it ruin uh, people's career, their motivation, everything. It's horrible. I myself struggled with pornography addiction from the age of 11. That's right, you heard me. I started watching porn when I was fucking 11 years old. That, and it was actually when pornography first started to get put on the internet. I used to watch little samples, little samples, like, like five to 15 second clips. You know, they took like an hour to download because we had dial-up. <laughs> uh, behind my parents' back, obviously. Uh, it's crazy. But I was a kid, man. I mean, what do you, you know, what do you expect? Um, but when I was 11, I started watching that shit. And I was hooked. Whenever I got the chance, my parents weren't home, all that crap, uh, I'd do that. And even if my parents were like downstairs and they were occupied, it, it was horrible. I would, I, would, I would take every opportunity I can get. I was like a crack a dick, literally. And if I heard somebody like uh, that that was entering the room or approaching, I'd have to like shit it off all hard. I'd have to constantly look over my shoulder. Um, I knew that you know my parents didn't want me watching that. I knew that I can get in, in severe trouble. I get grounded, you know. Um, I get in bad trouble, but I'd still watch it. Okay, and I was hooked. And ever since I was eleven. I hadn't stopped, okay? I hadn't stopped until uh, until I turned, how old was I, 24? Was I 24? Uh, in 2014, I started trying to get off porn, okay? Anybody who tells you that they just quit porn and they just are successful and they don't have relapses, anyone who says that is probably lying. Now, I can't speak for everybody, but I can tell you this. Most people relapse over and over again. Um, it, it, it really takes time. It is a horrible drug, okay? Um, from 11 years old till 24, I was watching porn every day. And, I, and honestly, I know this is gonna sound like impossible, but I was, on, actually I was on antipsychotic drugs and I think that this kind of like changed the way my sex drive and mind work. I was on Seroquel for years as a, as a kid. Um, high dosages, by the way, make me feel like a zombie. Um, and basically what it did is it turned off most neurotransmitters from reaching their receptor sites in the brain. So anyway, I would literally jack off anywhere from five to some nights 20 times in one night. I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. And a lot of people tell me that's impossible and this and that, but honestly, it did happen, 
but I think it was because I was on antipsychotic drugs and they numbed my bo my body's pleasure response because I would jack off and I didn't feel good at all. I just felt numb and and like I know I or I would orgasm but it wouldn't feel like an orgasm. It was really crazy. And I would do that and do that and do that and it was horrible. Horrible. That's why that's why I'm in natural medicine now because I realize that shit's horrible. Um, and who knows what kind of long-term damage these things did to my brain. Anyway, uh, God damn. And yes, after about the 11th time, I couldn't sperm anymore. Okay. It took 11 times for my, for me to not sperm anymore. Now that I've done no fat, I, I sperm gallons. It's really crazy. It's badass. I do take sexually enhancing herbs though at the same time that increase sperm volume. Anyway, God damn it. Anyway. <laughs> Pornography is horrible, man. It took me, it, it's, it's crazy. So from 11 to 24, I was addicted. And, and I would watch porn over and over again. It consumed my life. On days where I didn't have, you know, work or clients or school or anything like that, um, I would just jack off, jack off, jack off. It was horrible. There, there was a long time in my life where I would just jack off. Watch porn, watch porn. It was fucking horrible. Um, my brain was horrible. Like my, my mental health was horrible. And as a matter of fact, I notice my communication, my mental health, my, my ability to think clearly. Like my entire life started to change when I severely limited my pornography use. When I really started to cut down on that shit and I tried to remove it altogether. Like I would relapse, you know, I would, I would have a couple days where I have a streak, I'd have a couple days without porn, then I'd relapse. I'd have a week, relapse. I'd have a couple days without, a couple weeks without porn, relapse. I had a couple months without porn, I'd relapse. But the, the, the longer I went without porn, like the, the least I'd watch porn, the better off my life was, the better I felt. Every single streak, Every single time I went without porn, everything in my life would start to come together. And then I'd, I'd relapse, and then it's like everything just got horrible again. And then I'd, I, it would get better, and it would get horrible. It's just like a drug addiction. Same thing happens with drugs. People, they get sober, they get their life together, and then they relapse, and they binge, and then their life sucks again. And they're like, really, guys? All these people who say, oh, pornography's not that bad, bro, you know? Uh, just wink your wiener, man. Like all this dumb shit, man. I feel so bad for them. They sound like method dicks. Like <laughs> they don't even realize it. And, and most of these people are probably fat. They're probably unhealthy. They probably eat a bunch of like unhealthy foods. Uh, they probably eat a lot of problems. They probably don't have a great sex life. I'm sure of it. Who needs porn when you got a great sex life, right? Um, and don't feel bad if you don't have a good sex life, all right? That can be fixed, all right? Uh, anyway, I think if people went without porn for a long time, they probably would, their sex life would fix itself. Um, God damn, guys. So the cons of pornography usage is that it's so fucking hard to remove from your life. The cons of pornography is that if you relapse, Facing that 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 just negative feeling like fuck I I this addiction has me again the addiction won again that's the biggest con of pornography okay looks great outside I'm gonna have to go out and uh, go for a run here in a bit this is the third video I recorded in a row <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ man but I know you guys love my videos yeah man. Uh, my mood is improved. Everything's improved. It's incredible. Your life will fucking change if you remove porn. Uh, it really will. Like, you know, people are like, oh, it's a placebo effect. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's a placebo effect, my ass. Look at all these people who are transforming their lives by removing porn. You know who else transformed their life whenever they remove something? Drug addicts. They remove meth from their life. They remove cocaine or whatever they're addicted to. Their life transforms. They remove alcohol from their life. Their life transforms. Okay, anybody who says porn is not addictive, 
they're really like that's like the same thing as saying oh alcohol is not addictive you can drink as much alcohol as you want you'll be fine oh meth is not addictive go ahead and smoke meth bro it's literally the same thing they don't realize it though because they're dumb <laughs> I never research anything. I just talk shit. <laughs> you know, what the fuck, man? That's honestly, that that's the worst thing in life. Like, really, my biggest annoyance, my biggest pet peeve is when people that are like, Duh, huh, huh. you know, um, there's nothing wrong with drinking soda. Soda's fine. You know, it's not that bad for you. You ever research that shit, motherfucker? Like, oh, uh, you know. Natural medicine is, you know, it's it, it doesn't help. It's all placebo. You ever research that shit, motherfucker? Like, oh, you can't cure diabetes. You have to be on insulin the rest of your life. You know, people who say they reverse diabetes, they're full of crap. They're snake oil salesmen. You ever research that shit, motherfucker? Depression is a chronic ill. You ever research that, motherfucker? Pornography? It's not addictive. You ever research that, motherfucker? <laughs> God damn. Crazy, man. Ignorant people, yap, 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 don't realize they're fucking ignorant. Don't give a fuck either. They don't care. If they cared enough, they reflect and be like, oh shit, I'm talking about shit that I never actually researched. But I'm still gonna get comments on my videos like, yeah, pornography's not addictive. Yeah, tell that to the millions of, of, of dudes who have erectile dysfunction caused by porn. Okay? Really. Really, you wanna you want you wanna cause meth meth addicted people to keep doing meth? You don't realize how fucked up <laughs> like you're being crazy, man. Really sucks. But you know, anyway, you can't control the people. The only people you can control is yourself. So don't listen to those people. That's another con of of nofap is that you got these crazy motherfuckers who try to try to tell you that you know you're foolish and shit. Let them be addicted. Let them be controlled by their addiction, okay? Facing the depression that's associated with relapsing is hard, you guys. Facing the facts that you guys have a problem, that shit's fucking hard. But the, the pros is that it's the beginning to conquering your life. It is the beginning to building discipline, to building great habits. Whenever you replace bad habits with good habits, your life improves. Doesn't smell that bad. Actually, I don't smell bad at all. Guys, your energy will skyrocket when you remove porn. Your sex drive will skyrocket when you remove porn. Skyrocket? Did I just say that? Like playing tennis and shit? Skyrocket! I ah, remove porn. Say goodbye to porn. Throw, come on, throw that porn at me. Skyrocket. Nah, it'll skyrocket, motherfuckers. So, yeah, I mean, really, guys, go to the gym, eat healthy, you know, research health. Look at all my videos on good nutrition, herbalism, exercise, develop passion for life, you guys. Hang around with, with great people, study positive psychology, look into all these things. Improve your life, guys. That's the, that's the greatest thing you can do. If you guys really want to love your life, love yourself, and enjoy your life, it all goes with building life, okay? When you start to build life, instead of like allowing yourself to be on autopilot, being a victim to life, letting your circumstances control you, when you start to, to grab life by the fucking throat and, and fucking headbutt the fuck out of it until you get happy and success, that's when your life transforms. And pornography is the first step. Conquer that shit. Fuck porn. Okay? Seriously. Alright, leave y'all's questions and comments down below. <laughs> I hardly had any sleep last night, so I guess I'm a bit woo, and I just finished my coffee, yerba mate, with egg white protein, ashwagandha, and maca root. And I feel fucking fantastic, motherfuckers. Hell yeah. Alright, love you guys. Comment, subscribe, talk to y'all. No, 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 next time. Remix.